Hey guys, I want to share with you my postpartum stash. Um, and the way I chose um, to do my postpartum stash is I didn't want to purchase any pads that I wouldn't be able to wear in my regular period. So I didn't go all out and get a whole bunch of really large pads that I would never wear again. And my plan is, as far as many as, many as I wanted to have, I wanted to be able to do laundry um, in like a three day, sort every three day sort of a, a loop. So my math was that if I changed my pad, about every time I went to the bathroom at the beginning, I'd probably be ending around needing around like six to eight pads a day. So based on that, um, that's how I built my stash up. So that's just kind of the, some preliminary. Let me just go ahead and, and get started. I think my total postpartum stash was around 34 pads, and that's including my lights and my liners. Uh, you can definitely get by. Um, I have 10 lights and liners, so my real hardcore pads, um, I had 24, and that got me by just fine. So that's a decent, a decent size um, stash, I think. A little on the smaller side, but perfect it ended up being perfect for me. I'm going to start with my largest pads um, since postpartum. That's kind of what, what you need. Um, this one is a 12 inch from Eco Hearted. It is cotton topped. It has two layers of Zorb for the core and it has a wind pro back. This is a Yurtcraft it's 12 point something inches, like maybe 0.25, I don't remember. It is cotton top. She uses a bamboo fleece core and a wind pro back. And this is an ultra, her super pad. Now the next three were homemade and I used these uh, using Sweet Dragon pads. And her pad, um, this one was, I feel like it was her 12 inch flare. Yes. Um, and this is a minky top. It has two layers of Zorb in the core and then P.U.L. back. And then the next two are flannel top with two layers of Zorb in the core and they have P.U.L. backs. So I like my really big heavy duty pads. I only had five of. Next up, I have my heavy pads and I have six total heavy, heavy pad absorbencies, not including my really long ones. This is Yurtcraft 10 inch. It's cotton top, her bamboo fleece core, wind pro back. This is Cloth Junkies, cotton top. I can't remember what her core is. And this is like a hard faced wind pro back. This was made by, um, gosh, she changed the name of her, her shop and then her shop is closed now. So I, I'm trying to remember it was Sriracha something. So I can't remember, but anyways, I have two of these. These are nine inch heavies with cotton top, flannel core, hidden P well, and a uh, flannel back. Here's the second one. Love that print. Um, next up are, is a 10 inch pink lemonade shop. This is organic bamboo velour. The core is bamboo fleece. And then the back is one pro. My other 10 inch heavy from pink lemonade shop. It's a Jersey top with the same core and the same back. So my regular absorbencies, I have 13. And I'll just start with, this is green for less. Um, and this is a 10 inch cut and top Zorb Core Wind Pro Back. And green for less has two styles. That was one style. The other style is this. And this is more an 11 inch, it's kind of a wider flare. It's also a regular um, absorbency with a Zorb Core. It's a cotton top and a Wind Pro Back. Um, next up is Eco Hearted. And I have 10 of these, or not, I'm sorry, not 10 of these. I have three of these. Um, they're 10 inch cotton topped Zorb Core Wind Pro Back. This one has a little bit of staining. These are eco hearted. Next up, Loopy for You. This is her um, Zorb Core with a flannel top and P well back. 
super thin. Love this pad. Next is Cloth Junkies Flannel Top Zorb Core, that hard faced one pro back. Yurt Craft 9 inch cotton top, her bamboo fleece core, one pro back. Another 9 inch Yurt Craft, but this time with flannel top. Creations by Five. This is a 10 inch cotton top, Zorb Core, Win Pro Back. This is Mother Moon Pad, 10 inch um, Minky Top, Zorb Core, Win Pro Back. And then this is another Minky Top from Mother Moon Pads as well. This is June Bug Studios, Cotton Top, Zorb Core, Win Pro Back. And that is it for my regulars. On to my lights and my liners. All right, starting up, this is Love Your Reusables. It is an eight inch um, flannel top. I'm not sure what her core is. I think it's I think it's a bamboo fleece. And this is a Win Pro back. The other Love Your Reusables is a cotton um, cotton top, and it has a little bit of staining. So sorry about that. Mimi's Dreams, 8 inch liner. Actually, I think I have that upside down. No, I can never tell with water lilies. Um, Eco Hearted, these are my 8 inch uh, cotton top Zorb Core Wind Pro Back. It's a Zorb Core, so it's actually a regular absorbency, but since it's 8 inches, it's a light for me. And this is also Eco Hearted 8 inch. Uh, June Bug Studios. This is a seven inch with a Zorb core, so it's regular absorbency with a Wimpro back. Um, gosh, I'm drawing a blank on the name of this. Lazy Creek Boutique, seven inch crushed velvet top. Um, I don't, I'm not sure what the core is. It's a very, very light core, whatever it is, um, and light pad. Cloth Junkies, six inch. Um, this is a cotton top, flannel core, and just a anti-pill fleece back. And then I have more of these um, Blue Meadow pads, but I'm just going to show you two. I, I purchased a lot of these at the end of my pregnancy um, just because they were nice. Just a little liner just in case a sneeze turned into wet pants. So, um, but I'm just going to show you two because these are pretty much the two that I used um, for my postpartum period. And it is a six inch cotton top. There's a flannel core, hidden flannel core, micro fleece back. And then there's this one too. And that is it for my postpartum stash. Thanks for watching.